Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Today I want to inspect with you guys the SERP API uh, node and how to use it uh, in SEO and how to what are the results that you get from that uh, and all of its features. This is very useful for in case you work with SEO or in case you want to see if your site is ranking in which in which position and it's also good if you're building AI agents uh, in order for them to access Google results. Uh, so let us start right away. Before I start I just want to mention that I will leave some pretty useful links in the description for you guys to use. Make sure to check that out. Okay, I'm going to start with a new scenario as always. I'm going to name it SERP API. And then I'm going to save so I don't forget. And I'll get the first node I have here. So I'm going to hit plus. So as always, we'll start with Google Sheet and we will uh, we'll aggro. Uh, so this is the Google Sheet that I have. It has a keyword, it has a title, it has a link and a position. Okay, this is the one that we'll use. Uh, I'm going to just select it. First, you need to add your account by clicking add and signing up. It's not that hard to do. Uh, you just need to have a, a, a Google account. So I'm going to search for SERP API here. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to select which sheet. So I'm going to sheet one and uh, this has headers. This is the header area. Uh, I have a separate video on Google Sheets. So make sure to check that out if you want to know more. So then I have uh, I have these. OK. So this is the first node, which is the Google Sheet. Node, OK. Uh, I'm going to create another node, which I'm going to search for SERP API. And now it has all of these things. You can search for not just Google Bing as well, and Google Images, Google Jobs, even YouTube at the end. So I'm going to start with Google. So I'm going to search Google. And I just uh, log in with my account here, and I have to provide the query. So since I will be providing the query uh, or I can put the query in here, right? So I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to, so I'm going to search for best coffee machine for flat white. And I'm going to put it, the first one is here. There you go. I'm going to. I'm going to delete those information here. I'm going to get it from SERP API. OK, then I'm, I'm not going to need an add row. I'm going to need a get row so I get the details, right? So uh, <clears throat> so what I want to do is uh, search rows. Uh, this will give me the results from I'm going to select the spreadsheet, which is SERP API. And I'm going to get sheet one. And I am going to order by row number. And OK, field type is a number. And I'm going to get one. OK. Sort order, I'll keep it ascending. So I'm going to test this one first. There you go. We will get the number one. OK. Then I'm going to get the search query from here. Um, So it still uh, has the old add draw. So let me link that, connect again. Okay, now I have what I want. So I'm going to put the keyword here. And so for location, 
So uh, probably the U the United States. Then the number of results we want ten. Uh, we want just the first page. Uh, then after that we want to update, right? We want to update with the information that we got. So I'm gonna update. Also select what the sheet, uh, the SERP API sheet. We'll get the row number from here. So we get the same one and we don't mix up things. So the row number will we'll get it from the first one, uh, row number, okay. And then for the update, we're gonna update the title uh, and the rest, okay. Here we get all the information back. Uh, so we have the pagination, uh, local results, search information, search parameters. Let us first, uh, I think what we want is organic results. So organic results is an array. And, and as, as I explained earlier in another video about iterators and aggregators, whenever we have arrays, then we need to iterate over them, okay? In order to do that, I'm gonna have to add an iterator, right? I'm gonna put it here. An iterator takes an array. So an array, what is an array? It's a group of objects put together in one bag, right? Every array element inside that bag has a number. So it could be one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select search for organic results again. I know it's an array, there we go, there it is. Okay, so this, I'm gonna auto align here. So this will give me uh, the results I want. I'm gonna have to do this again. Okay, maybe I didn't click okay on this, this is why it happens. Okay, I'm gonna get the little number from here. Okay. The keyword will be the same. So what I want to do here is uh, get the title <clears throat> and get the position. So I'm going to get the title, the link, the position. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna auto align, save, and I'm gonna test this for the first time. Let's see what we get. So SERP API will not work, and now I will get probably uh, results here. So the result of this is a, in a, in a, the result of the SERP API is this. It has a lot of stuff. It has the inline videos, the related questions, uh, the snippets, so it's very, very, very full with information. Everything you might need, pagination. Uh, and what we want is the organic results. It got a seven back and it has position one, position two, and everything we need here. And we did an iterator because that was an array. So the result of this is would be collections of each and every one, right? each and every one, seven of them, okay? The first one, it will be position, title, link, uh, and then the thumbnail, the date, the snippet. Uh, it has a lot of the images, okay? Everything we might need, okay? And then the result would be this, if we go to here. Yeah, because we, we only said update, so it's updated the same one. So what we need to do, I think, is add rows in order to have all of them, okay? But I'm gonna keep the update because I'm gonna use it later. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna add, so add rows. I'm gonna break this up, connect this. 
and I'm going to select serve API again, sheet name, and then the keyword would be from here, <coughs> keyword, the title would be from here, title, then the link, and then the position. Okay, so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna try again. So we have seven results, there you go. Okay, so just forget about the first one because it is from the old one. Okay, so this is position one, position two, position three, and tail seven, okay? And we have all of these, the domain name and everything we need, okay? The main keyword, the titles, the links, and the position. So we got that from SERP API. Now, how cool is that, right? How many things you can, you can do with that? We can do an, a rank tracker with this, uh, where it checks that if the result is between that, then uh, then give the position, right? <clears throat> so, so we did this example of doing that. What I want to do now is I'm gonna remove these. So what I have is this, the, the keyword, and let's say I want to, let me get this link. And put it here. Let's say I ha I own this website and I want to see uh, its rank, right? I want to see how uh, what is the, the current rank, what is the position of this website on uh, on Google on this date, for example. Let's say date. Okay. Uh, so we changed things here. Let Let's go to here. So again, we'll get the row. We'll search Google, we iterate, and then we're gonna update. So we're gonna use this one. I'm gonna disconnect this and I'm gonna connect this. Okay. So we wanna update this row number and what we wanna update it with, uh, I'm gonna refresh because the rows have changed, the columns have changed. <coughs> So what I want to, keyword stays the same, link stays the same, and I'm gonna update it with uh, position and date. But first, what I'm doing here, let's explain. So I'm getting the results here. And uh, the results here is an array, right? Uh, and then we have this bundle here. What I wanted to do is check if uh, the link is contained in any of them, then pass it through. If not, don't pass it, right? Uh, I can do a filter here. One of them is filter. So what I can do is uh, link and make sure it contains, uh, contains. We'll put the, the main website here. What we can do is there is something called starts with right starts with case insensitive so if it starts with this then this is our website and let us uh, let us see if the current position of it right uh, i'm gonna auto align i'm gonna save and i'm gonna let's see the okay this is the we want to add the also the date on that so i didn't add the date here I have a separate video on dates, so make sure to check that out in order to understand more about dates. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm not gonna put just now here uh, because I wanna format this. Um, so I'm gonna format this in a date that is um, good for me. All right, so this is a good one. I'm gonna now save and I'm gonna uh, test this 
So the filter only will pass through. So bundle five passed because it starts with, and what I have is, there you go. That's a RAM tracker for you. So it says the position, it's on position five. And uh, this is, uh, and this is the date of it, okay?